ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Upper St. Clair High School Gymnasium. We've got a packed house here tonight for the Mount Lebanon Blue Devils against the Upper St. Clair Panthers. It's the final game of the season for our Panthers, who come into the game with an 18 and five record, seven and four in the conference. The Panthers are assured of a playoff spot, uh, just a matter of where they're seated. This game uh, will could affect whether they get the third or the fourth seed in the conference. It's a little loud here tonight. The music's blaring. Uh, both student sections are full. If you follow St. Clair basketball, you know that over the last several years, uh, this rivalry has become very, very heated. Had a couple of incidents uh, with fans storming the court, both at, uh, at Mount Lebanon and here at St. Clair. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to St. Clair High School for tonight's WPIAL basketball game featuring the Blue Devils of Mount Lebanon High School and the Old Panthers of Upper St. Clair. Now let's turn it over to the PA announcer for the uh, for the starting lineups. Uh, as I said earlier, Mount Lebanon comes into the game with a two and nine conference record, seven and fourteen overall. But don't let that two and nine record mislead you. They're very tall. And they're very young. It's kind of a rebuilding year. Uh, it might be hard to hear me all night. The student sections are already starting the uh, their cheers and kind of uh, taunts back and forth. It was senior recognition night prior to the game. Uh, the three Panther seniors were recognized. Uh, Dan Simpson, John Austin, and, uh, and Shane. As I said, that two and nine record, don't be misled. Two of their, uh, one of their two victories in conference was against St. Clair at uh, Mount Lebanon. Uh, it's a worn out cliche that you can throw the records away when these teams play, but this is a, a heated rivalry. Both teams have been very good. Brian is a junior, point guard. Ryan Mackin, another junior, 6'4", big boy. Evan is a sophomore. Lang is a freshman. And number 52 is a uh, sophomore. So like I said, this is a young Mount Lebanon team, kind of a rebuilding year for Coach Joe David. Bit of a homecoming for Coach David. He lives here in Upper St. Clair. His son, Joey, played on the JV team earlier today. Christian is the leading scorer for the Panthers. Drained six threes the other night. It's kind of a family week for St. Clair. Pete played uh, last Sunday. St. Clair played against Char Valley. Pete played against his uncle and his cousin. Uh, Char Valley, one of the top AAA teams this year. But St. Clair had the better of them. Shane getting the start tonight, along with uh, Dan Simpson. Uh, as I was saying this past week, St. Clair had a great game on Sunday against Char Valley down at the Palumbo Center, but lost earlier in the week by three to uh, Cannon McMillan. Cannon McMillan with a strong season this year, a little bit better than usual for the Big Macs. Uh, they've knocked off St. Clair. We beat them here. They won down there. Uh, but they've also knocked off McKeesport and Moon, two of the top quad A teams in, uh, in the Whippeal. So they are forced to be reckoned with come playoff time. They're not exceptionally big, uh, but they play well together. And uh, much like the Panthers, not not a huge team, but they play well together. And they, um, oh, good evening. Good evening, Karen. Nice of you to make it. 
just saying hello to my lovely wife as she joins us here in the broadcast booth. A uh, little car trouble today. We didn't think she was going to make it, but she's here. Austin will be jumping against number 33, Paul Lang. Lang is a freshman. Number 21, Evan Pierce, he's a sophomore. The 14 is uh, Ryan Mackin as the lone senior on the starting team for, uh, for, the, Le for the Blue Devils. Sirio is tripped as he tries to penetrate the lane. Sporting a little bit of uh, facial hair this time. I think since the last game I broadcast, he's let it grow in. I guess that's a playoff beard or a beard in anticipation of the playoffs. Austin with a nice drive goes up right handed. Could have called a little foul there. Got him with the body as he went up, but I guess it's a good no call. Simpson pressuring number five, Lackner in the backcourt. Blue Devils being patient, working the ball in their half-court offense. Oh, could have got away with a little bit of a carry there. Looks like he got it stuck on his hip. Good no call. Simpson had a notion to intercept that pass, but thought the better of it. High pick on Sirio. As 33 tries to drive, Shane Brennan reaches in his first foul. We side out. 6.57, just about a minute gone by here, and we don't even have a shot. We have, no one's taken a shot yet. The referees jump, jumping in to keep the boys from getting a little chippy. Emotions can run high in a in a Mount Lebanon Upper St. Clair basketball game. Throws it way, way back. Back, 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 as Berman would say. Simpson picks up Lackner. Nice defense by Austin. He has a notion to steal the ball. Look for, look for Austin to deflect or steal the ball. He wants to make something happen. You can just see it in his eyes. Will anyone take a shot today? There we go, a shot. The first shot is up at 621. Serio gets the rebound. Fakes the pass, takes the three, in and out, yes. Rattled around, but it counts just the same. Serio picks up Pierce. Air ball. Panthers looking to push the tempo. Another three for Serio, deep in the corner, yes! 6-0 at 5.53 in the first quarter. Now, if time of possession was, uh, was a measuring stick in basketball, Mount Lebanon would be winning right now. St. Clair's probably had the ball for 30 seconds of the first two and a half minutes. Coach Joe David deciding that a slower, slow down game suits, uh, suits his team. I didn't see the walk there, but the ref blew the whistle pretty quickly. And a little pressure in the backcourt kind of token pressure, more of a harassing. Well, Syria was going to take another three. Austin drives baseline, kicks it back out. The crowd wants Syria to take another three. He drives, a little strong. Rebound Terman. Turnover. Dan on the break. Beautiful body control by Dan. He knew he had a, an opening. He looked back to check where the defender was, uh, gained his composure, got control of his body, went up strong, anticipating a foul, none was to come. And Coach Joe David says, I've seen enough, timeout. 
Panthers with an 8-0 lead, 4.59 remaining first quarter. I'm gonna try to send one of my spotters out at halftime. If you notice uh, on the bench, both coaches are, all, all the coaches are wearing sneakers with their suits. Uh, they did that for the JV game as well. I know um, at the college level, they've done that as a, as a little bit of a solidarity for a, uh, for a, a fundraising cause, Coaches Against Cancer. Uh, I don't know if the high school coaches are, are honoring that, uh, that tradition or that. Anyway, but we'll find out at halftime for you. At any rate, Serio picks up Lackner. Again, you've seen that all season where Coach Holzer will put a different guard on the other team's point guard just to wear him down and harass him. He can't, keeps him from getting into a rhythm. Now, they're going to call that foul on Austin because he hit Lackner, but the fact is he was tripped by number 52. He doesn't hit Lackner if he doesn't trip over, over Pierce, over Pierce Terman, or Deion Terman, excuse me. Lyon gets the ball over to Lackner. Now Simpson's back on Lackner. It was Austin trying to intercept that pass. He loves to pop out. Most defenders or most teams don't realize how quick he is, uh, and they get a little lazy getting their, their ball into their big man. A little jostling for possession, Austin and Lang. Number 10, Mike Martin of the Martin brothers checked in uh, on that last. Brandon with a nice steal. Oh, no, that was Shea with the steal. Shea had the nice steal, looked to make a, a, a break. Uh, defender got back, kind of tied him up, got called for a carry. St. Clair with pressure in the backcourt, lying inbounding the ball. Gets it over to Evan Pierce. Puts it in the hand of the point guard, Lackner. And Lackner is going to be tired by the end of the night. They are pressuring that point position every time he touches the ball. 339 and counting. Blue Devils have yet to score here in the first quarter. Can we pitch a shutout for a quarter? I don't think I've ever seen one. Tried to force the pass into the 6 7 sophomore, Grant Lattice. Couldn't get it to him. Shane with the deflection. <clears throat> but the ball will stay at the Mount Lebanon end of the court. Lackner puts the ball into Pierce. I don't know that. Mount Lebanon has taken more than two or three shots between turnovers and fouls and the reluctance to pull the trigger. There's a three. It was tipped. Oh, Sirio tried to get the ball up quickly to a breaking Austin. The ball was deflected. It was deflected because he was fouled. Will remain upper St. Clair ball. Again, some pressure in the backcourt. Token at best. Nice drive by Sirio. Takes the short jumper. Front rim. Austin drives. Austin had a nice drive. Got his foot into the paint. When you get to the paint, then you can dish it off to someone else. Couple of substitutions for Mount Lebanon. Number 14, Ryan Mackin back in. As well as number four, Max Martin. Simpson goes baseline, rejected. Nice defense by the Blue Devils. Ball gets into Mackin. He's a strong young man. Three-pointer. Bouncing, bouncing. Austin, Johnny on the spot. Decides to slow it down. Shane sees the three that he likes. A little bit long. Rebound, Paul Lang. Rebound. 
Entry past the Mac and a lot of bumping going on. And I think he felt the pressure from behind from Austin and he used his elbow to try to get some separation and he was caught that time. It's always the guy that hits second that gets caught because there was a lot of jostling for position. But with no threat of an outside shot, the Panthers can, can sag in on Mackin when he's underneath. Shane had a lane, rejected. Shea picks it up, over to Austin. Makes it 10-0, 150 remaining, first quarter. One of the Blue Devils took a, uh, took a knee to the groin. He's trying to walk it off. It's Paul Lang. You can move, you don't have to stand still with the basket. A long pass to the streaking Max Martin. It was just a little too long. He wasn't enough of a streak. 10-0, 145 remaining. Simpson surveys the territory, looks to see where the pressure is going to come from before he penetrates. Gets into the paint, gets past three men, driving layup. Four points for Simpson, 12-0, St. Clair lead. Simpson harassing Martin in the backcourt. Almost another Blue Devil turnover. Evan Pierce tried to drive on Sirio. There was a, a slight bit of contact off on the wing. Otherwise, the ball would have been out off of, off of Evan's foot. Foul number 24, Pete Sirio is first, team third. But St. Clair remains, retains possession. They throw it all the way to the backcourt. Sirio with a nice hustle play. And is that going to be bad? No! There is a lid on that basket for Mount Lebanon tonight. 107 remaining, first quarter. Austin has position, can't get it to go. His own rebound, up once, up twice. Rebound, Paul Lang. Did he get him on the floor before he went up for the shot? Or are they gonna call it a shooting foul? Now, if he fouled him before he went up, they, you know, better not argue about this one because that could be intentional. But I think they're going to call it in the act of shooting. The St. Clair bench doesn't like that call. Foul number five, Shane Brennan, the second team fourth. At the line is number four. Just under a minute remaining, 12-0. Mount Lebanon is on the board. Mackin will be shooting second one. And those are, and that, that is one of the Crafton Mackins. Second one rims out, long rebound, controlled by the Blue Devils. 12-1, 45 seconds remaining. Austin might have gotten away with a little push in the back on, on that play. High pick by Lang. Three-pointer way in the corner. Long. Rebound being fought for. Mackin gets it, brings it down. Strong rebound by Ryan Mackin. He's going to be going back to the line. Foul on number three, John Austin, the second team fifth. At the line is number 14, Ryan Mackin. will be shooting two with 30 seconds remaining here in the first period. Front rim bounds out. Second shot by Mackin, also long. Rebound, Brett McCormick checked in when we weren't looking, as did number 44, Steve Lias. Three-pointer by McCormick, long. McCormick had 21 points in the win against Char Valley the other night. Just under 15 seconds. Simpson on Martin.
Long three pointer. And as number 20, Evan Pierce stuck a three pointer. Rebound bounced harmlessly away. Earlier today in the uh, JV game, the Upper St. Clair Panthers knocked off Mount Lebanon. 49-35. See if we can get the uh, Blue Devil cheerleaders as they uh, try to rile up the crowd. And I didn't have to go to my spotters as the PA announcer may have, you may have heard in the background. It is the Coaches for Cancer uh, program. Uh, supported by the American Cancer Society. Uh, that's the reason for the sneakers by the coaches tonight. Here we go, starting the second quarter, 12-1, Upper St. Clair lead. We've got Sirio, McCormick, Lias, Simpson, and Shea. Quiet first quarter for Christian, leading Panther score. Over on the other side of the ball, we've got uh, Lackner back in, running the point. Nice entry pass to number 33, Paul Lang. That's the first field goal for the, uh, for the Blue Devils tonight, 12-3. Panther lead down to nine. Nice drive by Sirio. Couldn't quite, uh, couldn't quite see us lane all the way to the basket. And it looks like we've got a box in one right now. Number 10 is chasing uh, Christian around the court. And the other four players on a box and Simpson cuts to the basket. Nice use of the left hand by Simpson. Turnover in the backcourt. We St. Clair ball. McCormick setting up on the low box. Nice move by Lias, can't get the turnaround jumper to go. Another rebound by Lang. Spinning move. Sirio comes out of there with the ball. Sides to slow it down, looking for some help. Three-pointer by Brett McCormick, yes! 17-3, Panther lead up to 14, 6.33 and counting. Lackner out of control. Shea with the easy rebound. Another three-pointer from Sirio. Long rebound. Nice hustle play by Christian Shea. Take it out of Evan Pierce's hands. Holzer barking instructions to his point guard, Dan Simpson. Three-pointer from Shea. Good position on the off on the weak side. Rebound by Lias. Trying to kick it back out to Simpson. Couldn't quite get it there. Simpson picking up Lackner in the backcourt. Score remains 17-3, 5.44 on the clock. And one of the Panthers is going to get caught with his hand in the cookie jar. And that was Lias, he's gonna take a seat. As will, as will Simpson. And we had Del Rey and Applebaum checking in. Kick ball on the inbounds pass. Gets in the Mackin. Mackin 
Mackins is using his shoulders just a little bit too much. He's a strong kid, and, but that seems like the only move he has is to dip his shoulder, try to play fullback, but he got called for the walk. 17-3, another Blue Devil turnover. Sear will be running the point here for a little while while Coach, well, Dan Simpson's on the bench. Probably see Sirio run the point next year uh, as he's a junior and he'll be back and Simpson will be graduating. He saw Applebaum underneath. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Del Rey. That was Garrett. It was Applebaum. Yeah, it was, Reed. I was right the first time the PA announcer was wrong. My spotter informed me that, yes, in fact, I was correct. 19-3, Panther lead with the timeout on the court. A nice, a nice student section here tonight, about 100% full on the St. Clair side and probably, oh, 84 or 85% full on the Lebo side. Unfortunately for the Lebo faithful, they haven't had much to cheer about here so far. Three points in the first 11 minutes. We beat you as the, uh, it's beach night here if you can't tell. Uh, if we get a shot of the fans, you'll be able to see that we've got flowered shirts and boys in bikini tops and flip flops and Hawaiian lays and even though it's cold and snowing outside, it's beach night here at St. Clair. We've got Sirio, McCormick, Shea, Applebaum and Del Rey. And for the Panthers, uh, we've got Martin, Lackner, Lang, Mackey, Mackin, and number 10, Martin. So we got a couple of Martins, a pair of Martins on the court right now for about Lebanon. Serio picking up Lackner. Nice backdoor cut by Lang. That's four points for Lang. He's got all the all the field goals for the Blue Devils. 19-5, Panther lead at 14. Syria had an had half a notion. No sense for you know have a 14-point lead. No need to really force a bad shot. You can be patient. Take it if you see it, but no need to force the uh, force the issue. Make Mount Lebanon play defense. Blackner harassing Sirio. Deflection into Applebaum's hands. Reed can't get the layup to go. Garrett and Mackin tied up. Mackin, Sirio, and Applebaum going to the bench, replaced by Elias, Brennan, and, uh, and Austin. Christian gets into the bait, kicks it out to Sh Shane. I don't think John's going to take that three-pointer. Lang was out there, backed into a two-three. They're backed now into a two-three zone, kind of a matchup zone. And now they switch back to a man. The ever-changing Mount Lebanon defense. Shea looks to drive. Simpson gets into the paint, kicks it out. Another three for McCormick. Front rim. Simpson rebound. Tried to throw it back in and get it off, the, off of a Mount Lebanon player's foot, but it bounced. Oh, whoa. Oh, boy, that was a tough. Shane had to get it. He tried to keep it from going into the backcourt. Just barely grazed the line. Kind of racehorse, herky-jerky basketball there for the last 30 seconds. Let's calm down. It's hard for us uh, amateur announcers to keep up with the action when it when it goes quite that quickly. At any rate, Lang putting the ball in for Mount Lebanon. Gets it to the outlet, Mike Martin. Simpson picking up Lackner in the backcourt. Blackner picks up his dribble, something you don't want to do as a point guard. Picked it up again. Baseline. Lang tries to go baseline. Just under three minutes remaining here in the first half. 
Panthers with a comfortable 19-5 lead. Combination of turnovers and poor shooting have limited Mount Lebanon to just five points here with only less than three minutes remaining first half. Oh, that wasn't even close. It wasn't like his foot hit the line. His whole, uh, his whole foot was on the Ian Panthers there in the, uh, over the end line. McCormick, take a seat for a while. We've got our starting lineup back in place. Shea Simpson, Shane Brennan, Austin, and Syria. Austin looks to make a move on Mackin. A little bit of a scoring drought here in the last couple of minutes for the Panthers. Out of bounds off Mackin. 2-11 remaining, second quarter. Score remains 19-5. Shea, nice drive into the lane. Thought he was going to go up lefty. The whole, the entire Mount Lebanon team collapsed on him as he made it into the lane. Austin with a jumper from the free throw line, bounds out. Simpson continues his harassment of Lackner. Nice defense by Austin. He tried to jump that route. Didn't quite get there in time. Three-point attempt. Front rim, Lebo gets the long rebound. Lackner will reset his offense. Evan Pierce looks to make a move. Have some foot traffic here going in front of the camera. Mount Lebanon very, very patient right now in their offense. Um, Tough to come back from a 14-point deficit if you don't shoot the ball, though. Nice drive. Nice drive by number 10, Mike Martin. Dumped the ball off to Ryan Mackin after he beat his man. 19-7, 12-point lead. Shane sees the three that he likes. Takes the score up back, gets that St. Clair lead back to 15 points. 22-7. Just under 40 seconds remaining, first half. Shane tie, or Simpson ties up Lackner along the far sideline. Evan Pierce tries to drive. Had a half step on Shane Brennan. Shane got caught, called for the foul. That'll be a seventh team foul for the Panthers. That should put the, uh, should put the Blue Devils into the one and one. Shane's going to sit down in the last 27 seconds with three fouls. McCormick in for Brennan. Blue Devils are one for four from the free throw line tonight. All courtesy of Ryan Mackin. This will be the first time that Evan Pierce has been to the line. Front end of the one and one is out. Controlled by McCormick. I dare say the Panthers will be happy to take the last shot and take a 22-7, if not better, lead into the, into the locker room. Clock winds to 10 seconds. They'll put the ball in the hands of Christian Shea. Look for Christian to make take the jumper. Oh, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. At halftime, 22-7, we're going to take a short break, probably grab a cold beverage. I suggest you do the same. And we'll be back for the second half of this uh, basketball night in St. Clair. Welcome back to the second half of the Upper St. Clair Mount Lebanon basketball game. We've got a 22-7 St. Clair 15-point halftime lead. Let's take a quick look at our leading scorers. Well, seven points for Lebo in the first half. That's the story of the game. You can't win many games scoring seven and a half or seven points in one half. Uh, not many scorers at all. Paul Lang has two baskets for four. Ryan Mackin has a basket and one for four from the free throw line for seven. Austin's got a bucket. Simpson has three baskets for six. Sirio drained a couple of early threes. He's got six. 
Shane Brennan had a nice three. Reed came off the bench, a nice uh, layup uh, off of a pass from Simpson. McCormick and McCormick has a three. So that's six, seven, eight. Yep, that's 22. Uh, the only Panther in foul trouble would be uh, Shane Brennan. He has three. And the, as the Panthers take center court, we've got Shane Brennan joining Sirio, Simpson, Shea, and Austin. Austin, the only one without a first or last name that starts with S. Looks like the possession arrow will be pointing towards Mount Lebanon. Paul Lang, former hockey announcer, will be putting the ball in for uh, Mount Lebanon. He's joined by Ryan Mackin, number 10, Mike Martin, 5, Lackner, 20, Evan Pierce. So the same starting lineup that uh, began the game for, for the Blue Devils. Now this is, and if you heard in the background, the PA announcer was asking the uh, Mount Lebanon students to exit to their right. Uh, last year they had some problems with that simple direction. I guess even though they do well on their SATs, the Mount Lebanon students don't know left from right. Yeah, that's what we were waiting for. We were waiting for some uh, referees. Here we go. St. Clair pressuring the ball in the backcourt. Uh, defense just a little too tight that time. They called Simpson for a hand check. Simpson will probably back off of Lackner a little bit. And now they called it on Lackner swinging his elbow. Again, that constant pressure that we've been applying that we've been applying to the, their point guard drew that foul. Again, it's not any one defensive player, but every play, every every time, every possession for Mount Lebanon, uh, somebody has been harassing Lackner. Serio off to Shea. Shea gets on the scoreboard. Christian Shea. That's his first points of the night. 25-7, Panther lead. Entry pass to Mackin. He's going to go back to the free throw line to try to complete the three-point play. Cuts the Panther lead to 25-9. Here at the beginning of the second quarter. Front rim, bounds in. Two for four from the, two for five from the free throw line tonight for Mr. Mackin. 25-10, Panther, 15 point lead. Panthers standing around on offense. It's like they're trying to let Simpson isolate against his man, and he does just that. Eight points for Simpson, off the drive. There was a whistle after the play. Not sure what that was all about. Why the official chose to go over to the scorer's table. Deflection by Austin on the inbounds pass. Panthers looking for a steal in the backcourt. Austin. No, he, he tripped. He tripped. That was his own two feet he tripped on. I'm not sure I saw, I'd like to see that one on replay, but they're gonna call a foul on, uh, on Serio. I don't think it was intentional. Lackner did a nice job of landing gracefully. That could have been an ugly, uh, an ugly crash and burn. Head fake, Lackner gets past Serio. Doesn't do anything with the drive. 
Lang through two men. 27-12, six points for Lang. Nice drive by Shea. Five points for Christian. All here in the third quarter. Approaching the six minute mark. 29-12, 17 point Panther lead. Almost a turnover. Three point attempt. Rolls in and then down. That's Martin's first basket tonight. Steal by Lang. Lang looks to drive. Austin's going to get called for the reach in. Panthers have picked up four quick fouls here in the first two minutes. Blackner's going to take a, a break. Mackin takes a seat on the bench as well. Number four, the younger Martin checks in, as well as number 54, Grant Lattice, 6'7 sophomore. Very young team the coach David has out there right now. Mostly sophomores and fresh and one freshman. Long shot by Evan Pierce is no good. Serio, Serio went to drive, uh, beat his man. There was some backside help, but there was a foul on the floor, a little push. Uh, they had cut the line off. <clears throat> Serio wasn't going to get to the basket. And an ill-timed foul. It's probably an unnecessary foul on the part of Mount Lebanon. 14-point Panther lead. Got to be a mismatch somewhere. I don't think they want the 6-7 loaded. Lattice, Grant Lattice covering Simpson. Austin looks to take his man in. Nice dump off pass. Beautiful feed, beautiful feed from Austin. Simpson was just too quick. There were, I, and there was a miss, that wasn't the, the mismatch that I expected the Panthers to take advantage of, but there was no way that the 6-7 uh, the Lotus Lattice could, uh, could keep track of, of the quick, lightning quick Simpson. Simpson and Shea have done all the scoring here in the second half for the uh, Panthers. Uh, they've added to that halftime lead. It was 22-7. Now it's up to 31-15. Couple baskets by Simpson and five points by Shea. One, three, and one, two. Just about five minutes remaining. Got a little Beach Boys music going in the background to, uh, to keep the fans uh, happy. There's a couple of fans over there. I was pointed out to me at halftime that uh, there's a few outfits in the in the stands there, the fans, and if, if any of them are thinking about running for political office in the future, they probably want to burn the tape of this game. I wonder how many of the students know who the Beach Boys are. Got the starting lineup back in for St. Clair. Lang inbounds the ball to Martin. Martin comes across the half court line without any pressure. Throws the ball away. Simpson on the fast break. Went right by number 20. He left Pierce standing there in the dust. Um, Pierce, Pierce did not know where the ball was. So he just reached out and grabbed him as he went by. Um, and it's a floor foul, so it'll be it'll remain St. Clair ball. Three-pointer from Shea. In and out. Rebound Lang. Simpson pressuring Morton. Letting Lackner catching his breath on the bench. Martin to Martin. Yeah. 
The jumper finally drops for Pierce. That's his first basket of the night, 31-17. Three-pointer deep in the corner by Shane. Long rebound to Pierce. Gets it over to Martin. I like Mike, but Mark is my favorite Martin. I had to say that, sorry. Here come the Panthers. Simpson with the drive. Rejected by number 54, Lattice, but there was a foul on the shot. <laughs> Simpson will go to the line for two. And I believe this is the first trip to the free throw line by any Panther tonight so far. And the first one is good. Some wholesale substitutions here. Applebaum, Lias, and McCormick coming in for the Panthers. Uh, number 52, Terman, Deion Terman, and uh, Lackner back in. Second one in and out. Ball bounces around. Simpson gets his own rebound. I'd like to say they get a fresh shot clock, but there's no shot clock in high school ball. Lackner tries a single leg takedown on Simpson. Looks like a wrestling move uh, out near the half court line. It'll be St. Clair ball. Looks like a little, little frustration on Lackner's part. 3.39 remaining, third quarter. 32-17, 15 point St. Clair lead. Pierce picks up Shea. Working the ball, Simpson is gonna try to take Lackner in. They're gonna call that one on Simpson. I think it was a little bit of an acting job on the part of Mr. Lackner. Qualifies for an Emmy nomination. Lackner comes out, Martin comes back in. My favorite Martin. Lyon gets the ball to Pierce. Lebo patiently working the ball around the perimeter. Pierce with a wild shot, but gets his own rebound. It'll be four points for Pierce. Cuts the Panther lead to 13. 32-19. Lias tries to go inside. Lias comes out of nowhere. Nice weak side help. And that wasn't Lias, excuse me, that was uh, Lang. Weak side help from Lang. Put that shot into the third row. Serio inbounds the ball to Shea. Shea drives, kicks it back out. Again, with the 13-point lead, Panthers in no hurry. Sirio sees the lane. Whoa, Dipsy Doodle! I was just gonna say, threw up a desperation off-balance shot, but they're always good shots when they go in. That's eight points for Sirio tonight. 34-19, 15-point Panther lead. Pierce, ball fake. Sirio didn't buy it. Martin tries to go baseline, cut off. Pierce with a three-pointer, yes. Evan Pierce warming up a little bit here in the second half. That's seven all here in the third quarter. Three-pointer, front rim bounds out. Pierce with the rebound. Pierce is doing everything for Mount Lebanon right now. 12-point Panther lead, 34-22. 142 and running. Martin had a notion, the side's better. Well, for all the domination St. Clair's shown tonight, it's still only a 12 point lead as the clock winds to the end of the third quarter. A couple of baskets here in the last minute, and uh, Mount Lebanon's right in this game. Baseline move on Applebaum. 
Cuts the lead. That's five points here in the third quarter for Martin. Sirio tries to drive, turns the ball over. Chance to get the lead into single digits for the first time. Three-pointer for Martin. McCormick with the block. Applebaum drives and Nice drive by Reed. He saw the man in front of him. The, the defender tried to get position, but shuffled, shuffled his feet just a second too late. Bang, bang play by Applebaum. The Lebo faithful uh, thought he should have been called for the offensive. And he makes the three-point play the old-fashioned way. That's five for Reed off the bench. Again, Applebaum always gives the Panthers a nice spark off the bench. He's always around the ball. Always on a hustle play, running the fast break. Good minutes from Applebaum tonight. 37-24, 13-point Panther lead. Syria with some backcourt pressure on Lang. Pierce on the wing. Three-pointer by Martin. Back rim. 15 seconds, Panthers will hold for the last shot. Coach Holzer giving some specific directions to his team. Ball fake, jumper, long. And he's to the three, up to clear, 37, on the 24. Well, that looked a little bit more like basketball. Very exciting third quarter. 37-24, 13 point Panther lead. After scoring only seven points in the entire first half, uh, the Blue Devils bounced back and got, found their shooting range and got 17 points in the third quarter. So once again, in high school basketball, your fortunes can change very quickly. Teams can go from hot to cold and cold to hot uh, in a flash. Quick reset on the fouls right now. We've got the Panthers have committed five team fouls in the second half. Uh, the Blue Devils six, so St. Clair will be shooting one and one at a minimum on the next uh, on the next foul by the by the Blue Devils. It's the end of the third quarter, so you should pull out your 50-50 tickets to see if you won. As soon as the number's given to me, I'll pass it along to our viewing audience so you can check your numbers. We've got Shane Brennan, Dan Simpson, Pete Sirio, John Austin, and Christian Shea on the court for the Panthers. Dion Torman's back in, Lackner's back in, Evan Pierce. Martin, three-point shot, Shea, front rim short. Ball bounces around, controlled by Mount Lebanon. Simpson with a little backcourt pressure. 13 point Panther lead, first minute, fourth quarter. Nice strong drive by number 10, Mike Martin, but there was a foul on the floor before he got to the basket. Fouls on number 14, Christian Shea. Mike is the younger of the Martins, but the larger, the bigger of the two. Nice drive by Evan Pierce. That gives him nine points all in the second half. Oh, nice drive by Shea. Couldn't get the, the layup to go. Steals the ball in the backcourt and one. After Mount Lebanon controlled the rebound, they got a little sloppy. Shea took advantage, stole the ball in the backcourt, went up strong. This is Christian's first trip to the to the charity stripe. I have to say charity stripe at least once a game. The fans can realize I'm old school. 
39-26, 13-point Panther lead, 7-14. Got a couple of substitutions for, for Mount Lebanon right now. And uh, not so much a substitution, but just switching around on the free throw line. Both Martins are in. Front rim, back rim, and through. Panthers three for four from the free throw line. Kind of a sloppy foul from behind on Sirio. The winning number is 268275. 268275. 268275. Call our toll free number if you have the ticket. Last foul number 24 beat Sirio is for Team 7. Pierce shooting the front end of the one and one. Good. Evan Pierce, the first Blue Devil in double figures. Second by Pierce is long. Nice rebound by Simpson. Coach Holder shouting some instructions to his charges. Brennan checked back in on that last foul, as did Brett McCormick. Simpson looks for the drive, throws it up a little too strong. Rebound Lang. Lang pushes the issue, spin move. Very nice, Mr. Lang. Cuts the Panther lead to 11, 40-29, 6.30. Remaining fourth quarter. Simpson head fake drive. Gets the paint, goes up strong, draws the foul. Simpson will be shooting too. First one long. Elias coming in for Shane Brennan. Number 54, Grant Lattice checks back in, as does number 14, Ryan Mackin. Mackin's been out for a while. Simpson looks to take the lead back up to 12, and it's good. That's his 12th point of the night. 41, 41, 29, 620 remaining. Four foul, a little push. Looks like the foul is going to be on Austin. Got some foot traffic here in front of the camera. Pierce will be shooting one and one. First one is good. Where is it? Second one also good. Cuts the Panther lead to 10. Nice pick set by Elias. Shane, or Shea gets the pick, drives. Basketball number 13, Christian Shea. 10 points for Shea, all here in the second half. Takes the Panther lead back out to 12. Entry past the Mac and goes up strong. Two, 
That's a Mount Lebanon timeout after the basket. Now, if I'm, I'm guessing that he called timeout to set his defense, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Lebo goes into a press. Both teams are in the bonus. Excuse me, there we had a little side distraction here. Some more Beach Boys here during the timeout. Uh, both teams have eight fouls, so we're being the bonus the rest of the way. And here's that full court pressure I was anticipating. Mount Lebanon matching up man to man. Number 10 kind of playing the roaming position, uh, letting the ball come in and then a look to double team the ball once it comes in. Not sure what happened there, how they changed it. Lebo, chance to cut into that double 10 point St. Clair lead. Elias and Austin scrambling for the ball. Say it's out off of Upper St. Clair. Simpson picking up Martin. Just over five minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Panthers nursing a 10 point lead. Was as high as 17. Panthers have gone cold here in the last several minutes and allowed Lebo to creep back in. Nice rejection of the three pointer by Austin. Again, John is very quick off his feet. And that scramble for the ball. Somehow a foul is called on Christian Shea. A little incredulous. Since he was, from where I was sitting, he was nowhere near the ball. Pierce is back at the line. They're in the, they're in the bonus. It's one and one. Pierce makes the front end. Now we missed the front end, and it's not one and one. How that was two shots, we'll never know. Second one is good. going to the line, or Elias going to the line. First one is good, takes the Panther lead back to 10 points, 44-34. Second also rattles in, Elias makes both both of his free throws. St. Clair pressuring, looking for a little full court pressure to disrupt the Lebo offense. Simpson picking up Martin. Now Serio over on Pierce. Lang looks to make a move on Austin. Martin to Martin. Martin goes up strong with the left hand. 
Watch out from behind, Dan. Three-pointer from deep in the corner, front rim, rebound Simpson. Simpson drives, can't get it to go. Rebound Del Rey. Del Rey will be going to the line to shoot two. Eleven point Panther lead, 45 34, 405 remaining, fourth quarter. Left hand stroke rattles at home. Number 52, Dion Terman back in, replaces Mackin. Second free throw from Del Rey is also good. Freshman two for two from the free throw line tonight. Coach Holder decides to use one of his remaining timeouts with 4.05 here to go in the fourth quarter. St. Clair with a comfortable 13 point lead. That was of the 32nd variety. Both cheerleading squads entertaining their respective fan base. This will be the last home game for St. Clair this year. Uh, so it'll be the last chance for some of these seniors, both the uh, cheerleaders and the uh, and the basketball players to to have to, to be here in the friendly confines. Lang will bring the ball in. Full court pressure by the Panthers. Point guard picks up his dribble once again. That harassing defense by Simpson. Deflection, very nice by Austin. Beautiful play, coast to coast by Mr. Austin. Textbook defense, he was denying his man the ball. Had the hand up, the ball went into the hand. 15 point Panther lead. Left handed drive by number 10, Mike Martin. That gives him seven for the second half. 13 point Panther lead. Just over three minutes remaining. Coach Holzer having a tough time keeping his shirt in his pants tonight. Drive by Austin, oh! It was a little too quick to the rim. Lead pass, beautiful give and go. Another basket by Pierce. Pierce is having a career game here in the second half. He's got 15 points. Austin had half an ocean, gets it over to Simpson. Simpson can't get it to go. Three-pointer from Sirio. Yes. Now that's a, that's a dagger in the heart of the in the hearts of the Mount Lebanon faithful. They had played some decent defense, couldn't control the ball while it was loose. Bounced around to Pete, who was open from three-point range, and he cans the three-pointer. They had a chance if they had controlled the ball to get it back under single digits with just over two minutes remaining. And I have to say, I think it looks grim at this point. 14 points in, in the last 227. It'll be tough for, for Mount Lebanon to uh, climb out of that hole. Got Del Rey, Shea, Simpson, Sirio, and Austin. Uh, 
Lang, Martin, Martin, Pierce, and Terman in for the Blue Devils. Simpson picking up Martin in the backcourt. Foot dribble by Martin. Lang looking a little tired. He's played a lot of minutes tonight. Goes strong to the basket, goes up with the left hand, and he's fouled. We'll send him to the line to shoot two. This is Lang's first attempt from the free throw line tonight, and he makes good on it. McCormick checking in for Del Rey. Thirteen point Panther lead, 2 0 1. Second one rattles out, rebound by McCormick, who just checked in. Simpson hustles down court to put a little pressure on the Lebo defense. Just inside the three-point line, McCormick follows his own rebound and drops it in off the glass. Gives McCormick five points tonight. Panther lead back to 15. 130 and, and counting. Spin move by Lang, gets the roll. And Coach David is going to torture me and make me talk some more, knowing my throat is hoarse. But that's the right play. You know, get the get you know, get the basket late. You get the late basket late when you're behind. Call timeout to set the defense. Stops the clock. 132 remaining. 13 point Panther lead. 54-41. Both teams with 10 team fouls. So they'll both be shooting two shots the rest of the way. It appears that the Mount Lebanon students have learned left from right this year, and they are, in fact, exiting to their right uh, out the side door, even though the game isn't over yet. And they're being serenaded with the chorus of, hey, hey, goodbye. The rivalry not quite as heated this year with a with a Mount Lebanon team that has struggled a little bit, kind of in a rebuilding year. A lot of youngsters, they'll be good in the next couple of years. St. Clair more retooling or uh, reloading than they are rebuilding. Simpson goes coast to coast. Gives him 14 points. Panther lead 15 points, approaching one minute left in this contest. Lang does that spin move that he's done a few times already tonight. Draws a foul again. First one by Lang is good. Gives him 11 for the night. Make it 12. 13 point Panther lead approaching one minute. Simpson tries to drive through two men. Can't. And I think they're gonna call an offensive here. Simpson tried to drive through three men, had the ball batted away. In the ensuing melee, Panthers got the ball over to uh, to Brennan. Brennan, I think, was called for the offensive. Now it was on McCormick. McCormick was called for the offensive. Tried to get the pass over to Brennan, who was wide open on the left side of the basket. 13-point Panther lead, 56-43. Just under one minute. Martin drives on Shea. Shea rebound. 
I'd be surprised if the Panthers take another shot anything other than a layup here with 40 seconds to go. I don't think Coach David, Coach David is going to have them come out and try to foul. They're not playing defense, so there's no five second. Not sure why Coach Holzer would call timeout at that point. I'm told by, by one of my spotters that he called timeout to get one of his seniors back on the court. We'll see if he, I don't see anyone checking in at the scorer's table. Yeah, these teams will play each other twice a year, sometimes three times a year, as we did in 05. And, you know, you don't want any bad blood. You're not, neither, neither coach is going to run up the score or try to show the other team up by getting a late basket or, or doing anything unsportsmanlike. They just know each other too well. It's like playing against your, uh, your cousin that lives two miles down the road. Brennan inbounds the ball to Shea. And then Shea gives him the ball back out of bounds. Can't pass it to someone that's standing out of bounds, Christian. Oh, uh, yeah, that there, there was the, uh, they wanted a stoppage of play so the seniors could come out, not so the seniors could go back in. So he intentionally threw the ball out of bounds to, uh, to allow for a stoppage in play, let the seniors get a little, uh, a little applause as they came out. We had a couple of substitutions there near the end. Some of the younger players will get a few minutes here. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. 56-43, 13-point Panther lead. That leaves the Panthers at 19 and five for the season, eight and four in the section. Uh, that should secure third place for them in the section. It gives them a little bit better seat. Uh, and I have to say thank you. I hope you all enjoyed our broadcast this year. This will be the last home game, last game I'll be doing. Hopefully my contract will be renewed, and we'll see you next year. This is Hank Cheska with cameraman Dominic. Uh, happy to say good night, and, and God bless. Take care.